Hey everyone, I'm in NBA 2K23 and I want to show you how to play with a created player. So, uh, when you're on the root menu here, if you go over to features, there's where you would normally create a player, right? So we'd go here, we go NBA, and you can see I've got a couple of players here, a couple of power forwards, so here's the one I want to play with, so grub magnet there. So to play with them, I'm hitting back, so that's B on the Xbox, uh, circle on the PlayStation, and you can see here, what we need to mess around with is create roster. So we're going to create a roster of the players that we can use and you can base this on any of these time eras if you want i'm going to go with nba modern current um, and i'm going to use the official 2k sports roster this is not going to override that it's just going to create a copy of it so that's what we're going to start with okay um, so you can see we've got the roster creator here and if i go over to the chicago bulls this is the team that i'm interested in playing for and the first thing we can do is say okay can i is, is there enough space in this team for me to be assigned to it so you can try that first so if you lb or l1 on the playstation over all the way back to created players and you should find the player that you created obviously you need to create the player first for them to be sitting here when you've got that press a to select and then say copy to team so when you've got that pick the team that you want to go on to so i'm going to go with chicago balls and you can see it says here a team can have at most 15 players on its roster during the season so if that is full what you're going to need to do is go back to the team so we'll go back to chicago balls and debate who you want to get rid of here so we could go with anyone here we can move them and chuck them back but this process is pretty easy so let's say uh patrick williams i want to get rid of patrick williams so if i do that i'll select him here and I could either release to free agency, which I put him on another little menu, or I can delete him entirely. So we'll release him to a free agency just in case we wanted him back. So we'll go there and back on the free agency. He would then be sitting in here somewhere. Goodness knows where, but he'll be in this massive list somewhere. We could always search for him if we needed to. Anyway, let's now go back to me uh, and I'm going to copy me to a team. So we'll go here into Chicago Bulls. Happy days. Now, the problem that you've now got is if we go back to Chicago Bulls, um, is I won't be the automatic choice for the power forward. So we need to have a little look at the um, sort of setup of all the different plays and stuff here to figure out, um, you know, that, that I'm... I am the logical choice. So once you're here, the next thing you need to do is assign your player to be uh, used in the game. So up the top left, you see it says roster creator, hit left trigger, and this is where we can assign our plays. Uh, and if we keep going through here, you've got the playbook, uh, all the coaching stuff and all of these. So I'm using left trigger to flick through all of these. So the plays here, this shows which player is used for where. So at the minute, Jay Green is the power forward, and you can see lots of minutes there. So I want to swap them around. So I'm going to swap that one with me. So I'm going to press A, and then go and find my player uh, to there, because you can see I'm currently set as a reserve. Uh, and then what that will mean is I am the main dude here so you can see lots of stuff here i am the main one there um, you can also mess around with the rotation timeline if you want you hit the menu button so if it's a different button for you it'll show down the bottom so just sorry if i just back out of there um we'll keep changes and exit um just on the bottom little bar there you can see uh rotation timeline so if it's a different button for you it's there anyway that should be good so we'll now save the roster we give it a file name you can call it whatever you want i'm going to use Actually, I'm not going to use that left button. Uh, the very useful test 456. Okay. So remember, this is not really damaging anything. It created a copy of the original 2K file, and then we're using that to uh, play our game. Now, if we back out to the root menu, go to play now, uh, and then go to quick play. Here's the thing that's important as well. You've got to load the roster. So if you look down the bottom left, there'll be a button shortcut for load roster. For me, that's press the left stick down. So I'm pressing the top button of the left stick, L L3 or whatever it is. Um, and then go over to user created roster. And then here you want to right button or R1 on the PlayStation over to my files. There's the test 456 that we created. Load that in. Uh, and then if we right trigger over to Chicago Bulls, check it out. Power forward is indeed Grub Magnet. Hooray! So then we are ready to play. We start the game. All is good. Uh, and we should see as we jump into the game uh, that I am indeed on the team. And that's how you play with your created player, my friends. Let's just oh, double check that works. Don't sing at me, lady. I don't want no singing. Just hold this down and just double check that I am indeed uh, on there. 
Come on. Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to our Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. It's beautiful. But we need to just check that I am indeed there. That looks like me. There we go. Number 14. All is good. Um, so that's how you do it. If that was useful to you, my friends, big fat thumbs up. Much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. And I'll see you again in another video. Uh, anything you want to know about NBA 2K23, do let me know and I'll try my best to help. Cheers.